pressure to a step up. He's going to run for the first down and takes a shot at the six yard line. Split the seam, but pays the price. What is going to happen with Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins? What happened on Thursday night is an all around tragedy, and I feel so bad for Tua, man. No person who wants to play the game of football and wants to pursue the game of football should have to go through four concussions. Like, this is what, what, year five for Tua? Year four? I don't can't remember correctly, but I think it's year five for Tua, and he's already suffered four concussions in, what, three years? It's just all around crazy, and I feel like no one who plays football should have to go through something like this. This is terrible. And I just want to go ahead and talk about this man now, people are out here saying Tua should retire Tua came out and said he has no plans to retire and it's just all around just something that's very very sad and I also want to talk about what's going to happen with the Miami Dolphins because now with Tua out we have no idea when he's going to come back we have no idea if he's going to come back this season if he's going to come back at all if he's just going to be out for a few weeks nobody knows what is going to happen we just have to wait and see what the news is so I also want to go ahead and talk about the Dolphins and if Tua retires what does their outlook look like going forward what do they do if Tua retires because then they have to go ahead and figure out a whole quarterback situation and it gets very very messy so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do on today's video if you enjoyed please drop a like and subscribe it's very much appreciated i want to hit 5k subscribers by the end of the year hopefully you can go ahead and accomplish the goal all my socials all in the description you can go ahead my real instagram twitter you all know i'd be tweeting it up on sunday because you know i gotta spread y'all know i gotta let y'all know my takes on what's happening in each and every game so if you want to follow me play by play on a lot of the nfl games i watch red zone every sunday you can go catch me over there on some twitter or x if you want to go ahead and call it but yeah all my socials in the description and let's get straight into the video ladies and gentlemen to a tongue of iloa now we got to go ahead and talk about you know this whole concussion history where that all started now i'm not no certified doctor okay but i'm just gonna go ahead and you know talk about from what i've like seen and what i've like known due to like basic knowledge i'm not no doctor i'm not gonna go ahead and talk to you guys and tell y'all he should do this this that and the third i'm just gonna tell you guys based on what i know and based on what i think should happen what tua should do and you know talk about the four concussions that's happened so he suffered his first concussion in a game versus the Buffalo Bills which as you can see as he gets up he can barely walk but you know he continues to play in the game and they have a game on Thursday Night Football which he plays in he gets hit again in the head he gets sacked hit in the head again and you know what he starts holding up you know and his hands start going up in an upward motion and you can tell that is not good whatsoever so he suffered another concussion there he was out for a few weeks then he would go ahead and get cleared again he would play for a little bit and then in a game on Christmas versus the Green Bay Packers he would suffer another concussion and to be out for the rest of the season and he missed a playoff game versus the buffalo bills as well okay so mike mcdaniels came out and said that you know the starting quarterback going forward until Tua returns if he returns at all is going to be skylar thompson and well we've seen kyler thompson play before we saw him play towards the end of the year that they lost to the bills in a wild card round we saw him play in that game versus the buffalo bills in that wild card round now he wasn't the worst quarterback in the world but of course he could have played better and it's going to be interesting to see what exactly they do with skylar thompson because honestly skylar thompson is the quarterback for the rest of the season Miami's gonna have a top 10 pick in this year's NFL draft they will not make the playoffs he is not the move going forward I'm not gonna even sit here and lie to you guys I don't think he's a terrible quarterback but there's definitely people they could put in his place that would be better they went ahead and signed Tyler Huntley off the Ravens practice squad honestly I would start him over Skylar Thompson because with Huntley we've seen him make great plays before we've seen him play good we've also seen him play terrible before I mean don't even get me on that interception versus the Steelers that thing was terrible I remember watching that play still have seen Tyler Huntley make some great plays like that one time he cooked the Green Bay Packers that was very interesting I mean he really played well in that game but we've seen that Tyler Huntley has some potential and I think he should start over Skyler but whoever it is at the quarterback position it's not going to be too low. if it's Skyler Thompson if it's Tyler Huntley there was even news that Cam Newton was spotted at the Dolphins practice and I'm telling you guys right now no 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 we 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 don't want to see that no 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 we all saw it happen last time he was signed to the Panthers that 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 didn't go well it went well for one game and that was about it but whoever ends up being the starter in the long run if Tua doesn't come back it doesn't matter it isn't Tua Tua had such a great impact on this team I know that he makes mistakes from time to time but still you gotta go ahead and think about it like Tua is a better quarterback than any of these guys man he has a better deep ball better accuracy it doesn't matter I fully believe Tua is a better quarterback than any of these guys and you know I get the Tua hate he makes mistakes sometimes but as of right now Tua is on injury reserve so he's gonna be out for at least four games and that's an elite four games before back in 2022 when he went out all this concussion stuff he was out for four games he came back after the four games he started practicing and he was ready to play and you know he went back to his normal self playing on the field now like i said i'm not a doctor 
anything like that but the reports are seeming optimistic i generally think after four weeks maybe four to five maybe they'll give them a little bit more time like five or four you never know but i genuinely think they're gonna let tua come back and play as long as he's wearing that guardian cap because like i said man he has to wear that guardian cap if he wants to play football so also let's just say you know tua comes back after the bye week you know they play a game versus seattle tennessee new england have their bye week after four games Tua's ready to go let's just say best case scenario right they are throwing him in such a bad situation of games that they're gonna have to play like i know they were gonna have to play it at the start but Tua's gonna have to like you know get back in the rhythm and everything they start off versus indianapolis which at indianapolis is not that bad it's looking like right now but arizona buffalo i mean the los angeles rams could be completely healed by week 10 who knows pukunakua could be back cup could be back then the Raiders, which the Raiders have been looking like a sneaky team. New England hasn't been playing as bad as most people thought they would. Green Bay on Thanksgiving. New York twice. Houston, San Fran, Cleveland. I mean, after week 13, that defensive stretch of New York, Houston, San Fran, Cleveland, and New York again, is just all around dreadful. Tua is going to need help out here. Now let's go ahead and talk about the future based on certain decisions that may happen because you know it's just something i want to go ahead and talk about i really hope tua comes back to the game of football and none of any of this has to happen because you know i love tua man he's a great quarterback and even as a person he shouldn't have to go through anything like and, the, and from the dolphins organization perspective if tua does retire what do they do then they're in a pickle now they're in a pickle where they need a quarterback they need to like win now i saw some you know some trades cooking up on you know the good old twitter and some of them got me thinking well People are saying Matthew Stafford to Miami. A three-team trade is what I saw. Matthew Stafford to Miami. Bryce Young to the um the Rams. And then some picks from, you know, from the Rams to Carolina. Now, this might sound insane. I might sound ridiculous saying this, but hear me out. Listen. The Rams finally decide to wave the white flag. Of course, you already know. They've been going through so many injuries. Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, the offensive line. So many injuries on that Rams team. And they just want to wave the white flag. And they start realizing Stafford's getting up there. Might as well trade him so he can some value out of him they could trade him to miami which in this situation they would get bryce young and maybe you know a pick on there as well which bryce young with sean mcveigh think about it bryce young would be starting over because here's my take i don't think bryce young is a bad quarterback and i know this is a dolphins video i shouldn't be going in depth about this but I don't think Bryce is the bad QB. I just really think he's in a bad situation. I don't think he would be as bad as he is right now because Carolina is just, it's just not somewhere you want to be. You put him with Sean McVay, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, Kyron Williams, fix that offensive line. Way better situation, and I honestly think he could be a way better quarterback than what he is now. And then, of course, Carolina get picks in that deal. Do I sound insane saying this out loud? I really want to know what you guys think in the comments. This is just, just a hypothetical trade that I saw on Twitter. I want to go ahead, you know, talk about it with you guys because I don't think it sounds crazy. If it really gets that bad out here and, you know, Bryce Young got benched, I'm going to make a video on that. Does this even be that bad of a trade? But I really want to know what you guys think because think about it. Stafford with Tyreek Waddle, Mike McDaniel, this offense is already, you know, back to a high level if something does go wrong with Tua and you know he's unable to play the game of football but I genuinely think he is going to come back but this is like you know an insane scenario trade that could happen you know towards the trade deadline if things are getting bad I don't know it's just something I thought that could be interesting if something were to happen in the long run though I really just hope for the best of this Miami organization and I really hope the best for Tua I know I'm talking about hypothetical trades and things like that but man Tua I hope you're all right man I hope you come back to the game and you can play the game safely with a guardian cap and nothing else bad happens to you man because I'm be honest with you Tua I'm praying for you dog because like it's just sad man I wish this wouldn't happen to him like it's just it's kind of heartbreaking because like you know seeing a player that you used to watch when they were in college you know like see them in their NFL journeys just like man it's really heartbreaking but i hope the best for you Tua. i hope you get better and i hopefully the dolphins are able to go win some games without you because i know Tua, man i can tell by his personality and stuff he's trying to return the game he's trying to come back to his teammates but that's going to be the video for today if you enjoyed please drop a like and subscribe it's very much appreciated comment while well, you guys thought about the video what do you guys think do you guys like the new face cam style it's something new i wanted to go ahead and try out since i got the equipment for it now and yeah that's gonna be the video drop a like and subscribe i should have a video coming up on bryce young and the panthers very very soon or maybe even the new orleans saints but let me know what you guys think and i'll see y'all there